Beto at the corner. Cesar San Paolo got in between three Scotsmen. Burley didn't quite make it. Cesar San Paolo did. An unlikely scorer, and Brazil leads. Collins against Taffarel. Vital for Scotland. And he finds the corner. Taffarel went the right way, but couldn't reach it. That's a lovely ball to Capru from Dunga. Scotland in trouble. Oh, it's got in off Tommy Boy. It's an own goal. Capru claims it. Scotland so unlucky. Jury just failed to reach the ball. It came off Jim Layton from Capru's shot and then rebounded home off Tommy Boyd. It's a lovely pass from Taha and plenty of space here for Hadji. Oh, great goal for Morocco. Dan Egan came across, but the slight of foot from Hadji beat him and then the shot sped past Grodas. to kick back Berg it's in it came off Schipo Henning Berg made the challenge but it has to go down here as an own goal by the unfortunate Schipo it's a lovely run from Hadar oh Morocco are back in front Well, the movement was too good, and it was Egan who was struggling here. And great control. And the goal beautifully taken. Jonovic to whip it in. Awkward for the goalkeeper. Forced in by Egan. Well, if he's not so overjoyed, it's perhaps because his defending hasn't been uh, top class tonight. But he was Johnny on the spot and it's 2-2. Reset. Oh, and they've left Flo. Have on Flo. And Scotland can see the goal right at the start of the second half. Craig Burley chasing, and Burley gets there! Well, it's been an enterprising period of play from Scotland, and it's been rewarded with the equaliser, 1-1. One, one. Still nil nil. And Ronaldo's onside, and the best player in the world scores for Brazil you can't afford in that sort of space and plenty of options here for Brazil they have Cafu free on the right if they can pick him out this is Cafu and that's 2-0 it's Rivaldo Morocco was swamped then as Cafu drove over the cross Ronaldo, he's got clear of Saber. He's round the defence. Babeto's waiting. Babeto scores, and it's all over now for Morocco. Long ball. Henry backtracking, but not sufficiently, and Bashir scores. Really struck it well. Leighton beaten on his near post. Praise me, but not for Scotland. Looking for Hanna, and he's got away from David Weir. And is it going in? It is! It's 2-0 Morocco. Pushed up in the air by Jim Leighton, and he's unable to recover. Long 
searching ball. Point header. It's a useful header. Bashir, lovely skill, and resisted the challenge. And scores! Got an affection, I think, of Hendry. Nielsen. Still. Well, the referee's let him go on. And Bebeto scores! Well, that was extraordinary because it looked as though the referee was going to give Brazil a free kick. By not doing that, he's allowed them the goal from Bebeto. 12 minutes to go. Flow in a trial of strength with Junior Bayano. And Torre Andre Flo has struck back for Norway. All his own work. A very fine goal from a very fine player. It's wrecked up. It's 2-1 to Norway. An extraordinary turnaround. And how the man with the yellow boots has hurt those wearing the yellow shirts. Delight for Egil Olsen. Long ball looks for Baggio. Oh, what a great first touch, and here's Christian Vieri. And Italy lead. Ten minutes gone. A lovely, very simple goal. Quality of the pass by Baggio pace of the side put by Vieri quick enough up goes Samarano and Celes 1-1 oh and look what it means really attack the ball Samarano and Celes instant reaction when it came to him Samarano too good for Cannavaro and Faliuka couldn't save the day. Baggio to take. And scores! Roberto Baggio ended the last World Cup by missing a penalty. Opens this one by scoring one. Vital for Italy. Still nil-nil. This is Najanka now for Cameroon. He's round one. Oh, it's one of the goals of the World Cup so far. What a goal by Najanka. He tore through the heart of the Austrian defence. And look at this for a finish. What a goal. with defeat now and here's Polster is equalised in stoppage time Austria's most experienced player has done it to avoid defeat for Austria Zamorano Salas is there Salas has turned the ball over the line Austria claim it's not a goal but the referee from Egypt says it is Austria have scored one late goal already in this competition. Is Vastic? Oh, they got another! Vastic with another late, late strike to rescue Austria. Plenty in the box for Italy. Di Biagio found that half yard of space from Roberto Baggio's cross and then found the corner. Looking short of numbers, this is Christian Vieri, and that's a lovely finish. 2-0 to Italy. Lovely chip as the goalkeeper went down. It's looking easy now for the Italians. 
Bit of hesitation, and Vieri makes it three. The ten men just couldn't hold on. Mistake by Wormy, and a second goal for Vieri. Almost five minutes gone. In the uh, start of the second half, and a goal! Christian Vieri! It's his fourth of these World Cup finals, powering in at the near post. Nicely worked. Badjo back to Inzaghi. 2-0! It's Italy's victory now, and the two substitutes combine for the second goal. A tap-in for Robbie Baggio. So yet again, Austria score in time added on. It's been the story of their World Cup, but it's not been good enough. Andy Herzog's penalty. Crisply hit past Paliuka. A parting shot from Austria.